How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome to our Terraria 1.3 new expert mode let's play. So this is a series that's been voted for by you and I just logged in before to check the straw poll before I started recording and it was almost a unanimous uh, result with almost half of you voting for the Warlock option which is sort of magic, staffs and books and all that good stuff. So we're just getting started now. And I had a bit of fun making a character that looked a bit like a, a long cloak wearing magic user, so it's kind of fun. I'm not going the traditional, you know, grey haired wizard, but uh, it's nice to mix it up a bit. Okay, so thank you so much to everyone who voted in the straw poll. It, it's really cool that you do that, and I understand you don't, you know, not everyone does, and that's fine too. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do is just start out by making some wooden armour. And you'll notice I have the familiar wig in my inventory, which is kind of cool. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because I keep forgetting to put my helmet on when I fight the bosses. And <laughs> it's getting me into trouble. So I asked all of you about it and you were pretty cool with it, so I was like, sweet. Uh, if you're new to my series, I usually make a wooden sword to help fight off the initial mobs until I find our class weapons that we're looking for. Um, so yeah, so obviously Mage, we're hoping for a water bolt in the dungeon, which would be really cool, and hopefully I pick the right side of the world to walk to. Arr, go away, slime. Um, and also, with the addition of 1.3, there's now the Wand of Sparking, which is a extremely weak Mage weapon, but it is a starter weapon, which is kind of cool. So I'm interested to hopefully find that. It's been pretty common from what I can tell, like I've bumped into it just, you know, mucking around in new worlds and stuff like that. Haven't really used it, so interested to see what happens there. Now I won't worry about making a base to start with, I'm just going to get out and explore this beautiful new world. And it looks like we're in a lead world, which is kind of cool. Just swapping my pickaxe to four. I don't know about you guys, do you always have your tools on certain keys? Like, I, it doesn't matter which character I play, I always have certain tools on certain keys. It's just easier that way. Um, I probably should grab the tin as well, and the reason is, uh, because we're playing a mage, because it's expert mode, um, you can make the gem staffs, which, you know, I think with tin, I think topaz goes with tin, I'm pretty sure. Um, and you can make those uh, staffs, which are actually pretty good for the start of the game. The, the hard part about them is though, you need to be just be lucky enough to find the gemstone that matches the ore you've got. So for example, you might find a bunch of... Oh my gosh, a face monster. <laughs> they're, uh, they're pretty tough in expert mode. I think I might lead it away and try and jump it. Alright, and jump! Cool. Let's see if we can outrun him. Ooh, okay, um, um, I want that lead, but, there we go, that should do it. Is that going to keep him out? Good. And I got a spear I totally can't use, yay. <laughs> and I need to, slime, did you just glitch in? What are you doing? Look, I'm trying to make some torches, buddy. Oi! You gonna let me, oh my god, slime. Oh, I suppose green, green slime, you're going to do the same thing, are you? Yeah, of course you are. Oh, you guys suck. You suck so bad. Oh, well, we're right near the crimson, which makes a lot of sense, actually. Right. So, let's make our way down into the depths. Oh, I see a chest. Cool. Oh my gosh, let's get some vases. Very nice. Okay, glow sticks. Yay. <laughs> Woo! Okay. And I'll get this little bit more tin. Hopefully, face monster doesn't spawn down here. That would be sad. That would be really sad. No, a slime. Okay, we can deal with him. That's okay. Really cool. Alright. Oh, yeah! Awesome! Okay, we got the Wand of Sparking. Beautiful. I, um... Is that slime still there? Alright. Come and fear the wrath! Oh my gosh. It has no knockback! It has no knockback! <laughs> that is not good. <laughs> oh gosh. Ooh, another chest. Cool. Wow, this has got heaps of stuff in it. Umbrella. Alright, we'll give that a go. That's kind of cool, I like that. Wow, okay, we've got our first magic weapon. But uh, mana is low, so 
I'll try and farm some, uh, what am I talking about, guys? I'm going to try and farm some, some mana stars, fallen stars tonight. So we'll get back to base. We won't stay out too long. Okay, some lead, that's cool. Okay, we're getting lots of cool stuff. Yeah, I think, you know, normally on your first night, you're trying to just explore as far as humanly possible, but I think for us, we need to get our mana stores up because otherwise we're going to be very squishy and unable to defend ourselves. So we don't want that, do we? All right, so we got some cobwebs, that's cool. Ooh, I kind of want to keep exploring. You guys know how I feel about spelunking, it is fun. All right, let's, let's have a look in here. Oh yay, nothing! <laughs> so we're on the lookout for gemstones. So if you see any, yell out, yell at the screen. <laughs> Let me know. Oh, life crystal. Yes. Okay, we need that. And let's disable that trap. Beautiful. And a bird statue. That might be useful for some farming. And I think I saw some lead there too. Alright, life crystal. Nice and early. That is good. Uh, let's rope back up. So you know what, guys? I, I don't think we'll travel too far. As I just mentioned, I, I kind of kind of want to get back and start a basic base nice and quick um, so we can start collecting mana stars because, yeah, it's just going to slow us down unless we're collecting stars. Slow advancement. Alright, beautiful. Should we... Well, there's a sandy biome. Alright, let's just have a quick peek. Quick sneaky peek. Is that a pressure plate? Yes, it was. <gasps> was that a boulder already? Hey! I thought I got all the pressure plates! Uh oh. oh I got one. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, I think let's call it. Alright, it's still the middle of the day though. Hmm. Okay. So, obviously, we're playing a magic character, so I guess it makes sense we build like a magical sort of base or something like that which would be kind of kind of fun so I'll just get a little bit more wood and it'll give me a chance to talk about what to expect from this series so what can you expect from this series um so my goal has been for a while and I tried to do it with the expert series last time the one that just finished okay this is a good weapon but the lack of knockback is a little bit annoying um, yeah, <laughs> but at least it works, and it's magic, and it's not autocast. <laughs> All right, we got him. Uh, yeah, so what my goal has been for a while now is I've wanted to do like a heavily edited story series, and that's like our Serenas and our Gavins and our Yarens and all the our, the inwards. <laughs> um, yeah, um, which are really cool, and you know, I. I they're like a real passion project, but also I just sometimes I just want to play Terraria, you know what I mean? And what I wanted to do is have a second series that's more gameplay centric, um, and by that I mean just straight gameplay, just jumping in, having a chat to you, having some laughs along the way, and uh, yeah. Now talking about the bonuses of that, guys. So obviously, if I'm not spending like forever editing it and all that stuff, it means I can release more frequently. Um, does that mean it'll be every day? No, but what you'll probably find, like say I've released a weekly while, I've got some spare time, you might notice I put up an extra episode of the Expert series, um, just because. So yeah, so I'm kind of excited about this, and it also, for those of you who have been asking me about streaming, um, it's probably like a, I haven't said no and I haven't said yes to streaming yet. I uh, still don't know how I feel about it, but a series like this would sort of be like a, a first step, I suppose you might call it, um, because it's very much what, it's very much like what streamers do. All right, so let's see, we've got tons of wood. So I was thinking, let's try and make it look a bit magey, like mage like. So let's see, what can we do? Can I make wooden walls? Beautiful. So I'll build off the ground because the killer slime's gonna try and eat me, which is not nice. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Alright. Let's make. And just bear with me here. Alright, so I'm gonna start with that. And then let's do a bit of that. Okay, so we're building off the ground, obviously. Ah, I keep forgetting about the no knockback. 
<laughs> oh, we'll have to make a fallen star bridge tonight too. Okay, so let's get some lights up because it's going to get dark very, very soon. And I may even build a bit higher, you know. So, because we can use a rope to get up and down, so maybe even one level higher. Just so those mobs cannot get near us because they are not nice on expert mode. I don't care for them. So let's go one level higher. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Alright, let's keep building up. Nice and safe from the bloodthirsty zombies and the killer slimes. Don't forget the killer slimes. Sorry, slimy. Alrighty. So can I... Yep, that's going to work. Because it's night time any moment now. Actually, I can probably even get rid of those extra... Oh, it's night time. Okay. Let's deal with Mr. Slimy. Oh my gosh, this... Come on, wands. You can do it. Beautiful. And the poor guide is out and about somewhere. Just just chilling out in town. So, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Run for my life. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. I kind of want to... Oh, that's okay like that. Whoop! Alright. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, I just want to get rid of that last bit. Oh! Beautiful. That's okay. And we're nice and safe up here. I think. <laughs> oh, gosh. Alright, let's put another platform there. Beautiful. And I think a cozy campfire would help ease the nerves of our stressful first day. With the bloodthirsty undead down below. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think our first goal should be to get uh, a little bit of an enclosed area happening here. And we won't go too fancy just at the start, but we will just make a nice area that we can build upon. And hopefully get the guide up here before he gets eaten by the zombies. <laughs> oh gosh, poor guide. Actually, it just gave me an idea though. I wonder if we could make a little zombie trap. Oh, hey, Fallen Star. How's it going? So, I've talked about the AI before where if you build in a certain way, they get stuck in the ground. And I think it could be as simple as that. So they fall in the pit and then they use that fighter AI and they try and run out the side. So, we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's get some walls up here. And as we get more building materials, I can add to this. But just for now, we'll keep it pretty basic. Yeah, stuck in the pit. I'm gonna cast fireballs on your head. How do you like that, Mr. Zombie? Didn't think so. Don't think it's gonna work on the demon eyes, but you gotta start somewhere, don't you? All right, now let's get, mm, Ooh, I could make a star in a bottle. That's kind of cool. Did I make a chair? No, I don't think I did. Right. Alright. So this should be okay. Alright, guide's moved in already. Beautiful. Alright, let's just get rid of that one random bit. Now, if I run off screen, the guide will come upstairs, which would be nice. Because it looks like he's about to get killed. <laughs> poor, poor guide. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. Alright, let's make the star in a bottle. Because I've only got a couple of fallen stars so far. Uh, let's put that up there, and I'll be honest with you guys, I'm probably just going to spend most of the night uh, farming a few zombies, and hopefully get a shackle, uh, which would be really, really good. Um, hopefully one with a nice defense modifier, but uh, I'll take whatever we can get too. Alright, so zombies fall in the pit, makes me happy. Um, yeah, there's not too much I can do, I can't really go out exploring at the moment, because I'm just going to get totally owned by everything. So, I'm going to spend the night doing this, I'll speed it up, if we get anything interesting, I'll have a chat about it.
Okay, so we've survived the night with the bloodthirsty zombies and only died once, I think. But we did get a shackle, which is pretty, pretty cool. So I kind of want to do some quick home renovations uh, before we end this first episode in our new Warlock's world. Um, but I do need some stone for that, so we're just going to grab some lovely stone ever so quickly. And, uh, yeah, maybe do a quick bit of a speed build and add some rooms onto our house. Because you know I like to do a speed build. Alright, so, alright, get some mushrooms. Oh, there's a bit of tin there, but I'll come back for it later. And we'll just see. I thought, oh, a strange plant. Wicked. That's kind of cool. I love how they can pretty much spawn straight away. Yeah, I thought I saw some more stone along here. Our strange plants spawn seemingly from as soon as the game starts, which is kind of cool. Oh, that no knockback. Can't say oh no, are you kidding? Two strange plants in a row. It actually spawned right on top of me. That's kind of cool. And it's interesting in Terraria, some things can spawn on screen, some have to spawn off screen. Like, so for example, trees seem to have to grow while you're off screen. And yet some things can bloom, like flowers can bloom while you're on screen, which is kind of cool. And this is getting dangerous, yep. <laughs> Let's pick up the marigold as well. And that's pretty nice. So if the merchants moved in, because the guide died during the night, unfortunately, we're going to need another room for the guide, aren't we? So, let's see. Have I got some dirt? I do have some dirt. There we go. Fill that in there. So we don't have a yucky big hole there. And that looks like some lead underneath. But I'll get that next episode. That's cool. We don't desperately need it this second. Alright. So, mm, not sure about the monster trap. I might... Might might change that. I think I can make it more efficient. The way it was, it was like, it was working, but it kind of wasn't, so... Yeah. Hey, merchant. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, he's doing great. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. Alright, guys, you know the deal. As always, I'll speed this up, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so it's been uh, quite an adventurous first episode, and the guide has finally respawned, which is awesome. Um, and we've got quite a bit of uh, loot in our first adventure, which is really, really cool. So I'll do it, spend a bit of time sorting through all of our new potions and herbs, and oh my gosh, cool. Fire Blossoms, Moon Glow. Moon Glows are rare early on, so that's actually quite a nice little pickup there. So we'll make this into a potion chest and all that good stuff. In fact, I might hang on to recalls early on. And as we get better building materials, I'll remake this tower out of uh, some better stuff. Alright, and little evil slimes are just staying out of reach there. <laughs> Alrighty everyone, thanks so much for watching the first episode of our Warlock playthrough. I had a lot of fun making it and I'm really excited to... See how we survive in a crimson world with our wand of sparking in expert mode. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hope we find some more weapons soon. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's time for some shoutouts as always. And our first one is from Ranger XL. And they've asked me to say Animal Amazon three times really fast. So, here we go. Animal Amazon, Animal Amazon, Animal Amazon. I think I said Mamazon in the last one. <laughs> I almost got it out. Nice one, Ranger. And next one is from Dragonfire161. And they've asked me to say in a Shrek voice, 
It asked me to say, oh my gosh, Shrek. It asked me to say, don't care, fetch me my cookie. <laughs> oh gosh, I tried. Okay, thanks, Dragonfire. Our next one is from Retro iOS. And they've asked me to say in an Arnold voice, get to the cookie. <laughs> nice one, Retro. Our next one is from Gabrielle Fennec, as a party, as a party. And they've asked me to say in a kitten voice, a kitten voice. I guess kittens have little cute voices. So they've asked me to say cookies, me like I. Yes, it was me like I. Thanks, Gabriel. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I need to work on my kitten. And our last one is from the Cookie Crafter. And have asked me to say, keep calm and eat cookies. And oh my gosh, if, it, if that's ever a bumper sti sticker message, I think that's amazing. Oh, goodness. Oh, all right, guys. So, new series. You know, I always love you guys to get behind it and show it some love. So, let's go for... Oh, my gosh. What should we go for? Let's go for 300 likes. If we can get the 300, I'll get an early video out tomorrow. In addition to the normal episode I will put out. So, uh, you'll get possibly a Yaren episode yesterday yesterday tomorrow and if we can get up to 300 i'll do another episode of our new mage warlock let's play so uh keep those comments coming let me know what you want to see in this series too um and just so just so we're clear i'm just reminding you again it's just a straight gameplay series it's not going to be like yaren in fact it'll be much like alana's series here where it was more based on gameplay so less um less story based more gameplay um, so, but let me know what you want to see. More building, more AFK farms during it, more boss fights. I'm, I'm happy to go with the flow. Alright, and if you haven't subscribed yet, click the little HC icon in the bottom right corner. You won't be disappointed. Here's the most important part, as always. And I know I said every episode, but it is very important to me. You guys stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day signing out. See ya! And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. It's just, oh, he's got 3,000 health! He's only got 3,000!